so let's start first with my flyers collection so uh, from this time I have actually one one two three four five six seven eight so the oldest of this one is this Klein D213-9 and e. this is about one and a half year ago so the second flyer that I bought online about August 2020 so this is a Klein HD 213-9 ME so the difference between, between these two players is only this one have a heavy deep handle and this one is only the regular uh, deep handle but they are the same of the quality they are the same of the company so they are both Klein so my third flyer that I have bought about September 2020 this one so this is a uh, Klein journeyman J2000 does 9 ME CRTP so as you can see CR for crimper and TP for take pulling so I have already made made a review from this so I will put the link the link description below so please watch also my review about Klein journeyman J2000 9ME CRTP so this is my third flyer and the fourth flyer that I have bought is this one so this is channel lock 349 wiremaster the granddaddy of all channel lock flyer according to them so I, I don't know maybe this is the first uh, model that they produce I don't know I am not sure but they call it the granddaddy of all uh, channel lock lineman's flyer so this is box type joint so as you can see so this is a uh, wire master uh, channel lock wire master 349 but actually these two uh, channel lock 349 wire master this is not for me so I bought this to give for uh, to give to my electrician friends in the Philippines so this two I will give to my friend Karen Jerry and Karen Abe and the other one the fifth one that Ah, sorry the next one that I have bought is this one channel lock 3610 so I prepared to have a 10.5 inches lineman flyer so I have already made make also made also the review about this one so please check the link description below so this is 10.5 inches long so most of them are 9 inches 9.5 and 9.25 wire master i have already made also the review for this so this is about 9.25 inches and this is uh my fifth flyer ah sorry the sixth flyer that i have uh, sorry one two three four five so i'm uh, sorry this is the sixth one already so this is channel lock 36 10. so this is a high leverage design also with uh small rivet closer to the cutting edge or in, or closer to the cutting blades of this flyer so how many how many this time so this is six sorry six this is the six flyer that i have and the seventh flyer that i have bought is this one so this is channel lock uh 369 CR FTCB so 369 model and then CR for crimper uh, FT for piece tape puller so as you can see there is a piece, piece tape puller guide so I have also, also made a review from this from this flyer so you can check on the link, this link description below and uh, CV for code blue handles so actually there is letter L so if you are having a code blue series collection of uh, flyers so when you put this in your tool pouches when you see letter L so I think this letter L stands for nine months flyer and then for the eight flyer that I have bought so I have also made a review from this so this is channel up 
3048 a bevel nose uh, plier so as you can see this is not round nose on channel lock and this is not England nose type when it comes to clean products so this is a bevel nose type of plier so this is uh, only 8.5 inches long but actually this one also I will give to my friend so I will give about three pieces and then one is somebody wants to buy this one so I will be only having four pieces remaining line noise plier but actually I am planning also to buy another one which is Klein uh, HD 2000-9ME so same like this but uh, have the ability to cut ACSR so these are my all pliers collection so for, for, for the meantime this is only my pliers collection but when I see when I have the money and I have the salary so I will buy one one piece each month if I have a uh, find someone that I like so we will move on our on uh, some electrical tools that I have so let's move on my collection of uh, diagonal cutters and long nose and wire stripper so for the meantime uh, as of today these are now my collections of my diagonal cutters long nose and wire stripper but actually I'm, I am planning also to buy more diagonal cutters and long nose and another wire stripper which is Klein but different model so I have one order also I have already purchased one uh, channel lock diagonal cutter which is uh, E338CV so same like this but until now uh, not yet uh, coming or not yet delivered so this one is Phantom so I buy this only on surplus or what we call here in Saudi Arabia uh, Harads so this is this cost me about 10 10 reals so this is a 7 inch uh, diagonal cutter made from England or made from United Kingdom so this is also a good uh, diagonal cutter so actually as you can see the blades are parallel so this is almost uh, two years from from now and then this one I buy in uh, hardware there here in Saudi Arabia so I just like it only when I see this one I don't know which the brand BMM like this BHM so this is about 20 reals so not not yet tried in many words so all of my tools I I have not yet uh, used in my work so because uh, this is my personal and I don't have any project here in electrical so I am working as maintenance so this is this my this is my these are all my personal so I just keep inside my cabinet here in my accommodation so this is about 20 reals and the third diagonal cutter so actually this is not diagonal cutter this is a cable cutter so actually the second diagonal cutter that I have so this is channel lock E337 so this is an XLT or extra leverage technology uh, diagonal cutter from channel lock so this is 7 inches about 7.5 like this so with soft blue grip handle as channel lock so I think this is uh, also a best uh, one of the good diagonal cutter that I will be working with and with my long nose so this is what model is this one so if I am not wrong so I will try to check 318 CV I think so this is 318 CV so this is from channel lock so code blue handles also so when you have the code blue like this on so letter N so this for long nose I think so letter N so I am waiting for my uh, cutter which is E338 CV so I will uh, with same uh, code blue handle so but but until this time uh, it's not yet delivered so for my wire stripper so this is clean 
1009 so i have made already a review for this so if you like to check so please see please see the link description below so this is a a long nose wire stripper with crimper and with wire bending so the good thing with this is the carb handle so you can have a good leverage and good grip on this carb handles of this plain carb 1009 and also one good thing with this tool is the shear type cutter so this is very sharp and can cut uh, I have tried this one to cut until 8 mm squared uh, electrical wires and the last the wire stripper that I have here so this is old about 12 years ago so I try to polish this one with a metal uh, uh, with metal brush so this is junior so this is already old but and but it's good so this is already 12 years or I think 13 years of 13 years with me so this is junior so this is also my personal tools so for the meantime these are my collection of diagonal cutter long nose and wire stripper so we will check again for another collection of my tools so let's move on my uh, collection of screwdriver so actually i have only uh, this one so i will include this in my collection so this is about two reals uh, screwdriver so i use this on uh, tightening terminal blocks and uh, small terminal blocks so even though this is a cheap one or a uh, low cost screwdriver but still this is my screwdriver so this is uh, included in my collection and my two screwdrivers which is so this one so i have al also made a review for this one so this is a uh, plain screwdriver 605 6b with a negative sign as, as you can see so this is a flat screwdriver with six inches shank and one fourth inch flat screwdriver tip so this is from Klein so I bought this one about not including the delivery charge together with this one I think this is about 53 reals so 53 reals this one piece screwdriver so the second screwdriver that I have here is also a Klein screwdriver so this is 7 inches shank number two philip screwdriver so this model is 603-7 with plus sign so when you are about to put this screwdriver in your tool pouches so when you want philip or when you want flat so there is a mark and you cannot go wrong with screwdriver you want to use and for my insulated screwdriver so this is Weha so uh, actually this one I bought for 57 reals not including the delivery charge so for my set of ins insulated screwdrivers so the, this is from Weha made from Germany a six pieces insulated screwdriver so so this one is uh, I think this is 316 by 3.5 by uh, on the March side is 0 0.6 by 3.5 by 100 mm so this is uh, 100 mm number uh, 4 inches so 10 uh, cm is 4 inches and the next one ah uh, no 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 this is not 316 I think this is about 1 uh, 1 8 and then this is our 316 so 316 flat screwdriver insulated so the length of this one is 125 mm so 12.5 uh, 12.5 centimeter about i think five more than five inches like this five oh yes yes five inches and our third screwdriver so this is one fourth uh, flat screwdriver with the length of 150 
mm 15 cm 6 inches in, in length so the shank of this scooter the shank of this screwdriver is 6 inches and then i got here number one philip with uh, what is the length of this one with 80 mm so uh, 8 centimeter in length about uh, more than uh, more than three inches in length so this is number one Philips screwdriver from my we have we have set of insulated screwdriver and this is the one number two uh, Philips screwdriver with 100 mm or 10 8, 10 centimeter or four inches in length and the last one so the biggest uh, screwdrivers that I have is number three screwdriver with 150 mm 15 centimeter or 6 inches in length so for the meantime these are my uh, collection of screwdrivers but we, I will be trying to buy an, uh, another set if I get the chance or if I have the budget or if I will be needing uh, more screwdrivers for my job in the future in making electrical contracts in the Philippines so let's move on my tool pouch collection so the black one as you can see this is Klein 5119 a 4 packet tool pouch so this is where I will put my flat and Philip screwdriver and this is where I will put my flat and on this side maybe I will put my wire stripper or long nose or, or my diagonal cutter and this one this is where i will put my electrical tape and keys so actually i have prepared a tape holder so i will fix this one here for me to have a tape holder so i am very excited and to use all of these tools when i get uh, when i will be on the philippines if i will be uh, that if I will take my resignation from this from my company and then later I will be working in the Philippines as electrical contractor so I'm very excited to use all of these uh, tools that I have shown you so this is also a flyer holder model CLC 418 and actually these two CLC 417 flyer holder so I will be giving this uh, to anyone who will uh, get the right answer when I get my channel uh, when my channel got monetized and when my channel reach 1000 subscribers but actually I have to buy also two pieces pliers so I will be making this as raffle or a contest for somebody who can answer my question once my channel uh, got 1000 subscribers and it's about near and once my channel that monetize so for the meantime these are my tool pouches collection so let's move on testing and measuring instruments so for the meantime these are these are the instruments that i have so i don't have yet any uh, meager instrument so for the meantime this is my kiritsu clamp meter so this is already old about uh, 12 to 13 years but still working Ah, I don't have any battery inside, but this one is good, still working. And my Sanwa, uh, sorry, Sanwa multimeter. So the model of this one is, where is the model? I forget the model, sorry, but this is San, my Sanwa multimeter. So this is also 12 to 13 years old. So until now it's working so this is my Sanwa multi-meter and the the newest one is my Toritsu 2007R so this is new I never been used this one but uh, I have a review for this so as you can see this is my Toritsu 2007R so if I have the if I have the time or I have the budget so uh, I'd like to buy also uh, to buy bigger so this is one that we must have as as electrician when we are about uh, to perform big projects so with a big 
feeder line like this so we need to check our uh, feeder line for possible grounded or possible uh, shorted so for the meantime these are my uh, testing and measuring instruments but later I will be trying to buy meager uh, so that because I know this one this meager is very important in our work so these are my measuring instrument on to this date only so as an electrician also sometimes we will be needing also our uh, what is this adjustable wrench so this is my adjustable wrench 12 inch uh, rigid made in USA so for the allen keys pipe friends uh, box friends and open friends actually I have too much of uh, that kind of tools but it is not here they are all in my house in the Philippines so for the meantime this is what I can show you only uh, 12 inch adjustable wrench uh, rigid made from USA so I have already bring all my allen keys and box wrench and open wrench and pipe wrench and some other things some other uh, tools they are already in Philippines so for the meantime this is what I left here in my accommodation in Saudi Arabia so a 12 inch adjustable wrench and the other thing that I have is only a cheap uh, what is this not so expensive uh, piece tape so it can be used even though this is not so expensive but at least I have a piece tape in case of emergency so I have something to use in uh, pulling cables in our restways and our project so these are only my tools that I have here so later I will show you uh, the complete tools if I have if I will be having already completed all these things so I will show you it again uh, and guys and not but not the least so this is also a tool so this is my working glass so one uh, shaded and one clear depending on the job situation so it's better also to have uh, a working uh, or safety glass while we are performing our duties and responsibilities as an electrician so the glass is very important to protect your eyes especially from uh, wires and when we are doing very hazardous things so we need to have a safety glass on our work so that's it for today and god bless you all